This is Dave with Silver Creek Outfitters bringing your March fishing forecast. I'm going to start on the Big Wood River right now. It's my favorite place to fish in the month of March. And it's actually a very good time. You can get some skiing in the morning and then go out fishing in the afternoon. We'll get midge hatches out on the wood this time of year and usually the best fishing is in the middle of the day at the warmest part of the day. And with the good midge fishing on the wood, it's also good nymph fishing. You want some zebra midges, some small flies. We also use some big stuff like stonefly nymphs and prince nymphs and pheasant tails. So we use a little bit of everything underneath. I also like streamer fishing in March, especially on overcast days. Sometimes on the sunny days, the streamers aren't as good, but you can catch some very big fish on the Wood River with streamers in the month of March. At the end of March, the Big Wood closes down, but through the month of March is very good fishing on our local streams. And our tributaries are open too. I also like Warm Springs Creek because it's a lot warmer water out Warm Springs, and that actually provides some very good fishing in the month of March. I want to talk about the Big Lost River. It's also a good destination in the month of March. It's a bit of a long drive over. You have to go down on a Highway 20 by Silver Creek over to Arco and up, but it's very worth the trip. There's a good dry fly fishing over there in the month of March. We have a lot of midges, and by the end of March, we start to see blue-winged olives. The blue-winged olives are small, 20, 22, but some days you get some size 18s and 20s, so bring some bigger blue wings over there. The nymph fishing is great on the Big Lost. I like all sorts of little nymphs. I like brassies, I like zebra midges, I like rainbow warriors, a lot of the smaller flies. And on the other flip side of it, I also use a big stonefly nymph over there too, like I do on the Wood River. There's a lot of that type of insects on the Big Lost River. And the Big Lost River doesn't close at the end of March. It remains open year-round. So you can actually go in April and May until they raise the water up over there. But that's a very good destination this time of year. I want to talk about steelheading. Steelheading is going to start to go on Stanley and Chalice and those areas up there in, in March. Another couple weeks, they'll probably be in the upper river actually. Right now, I would encourage you to go down closer to Chalice and Salmon and do your fishing. You can swing fish for those fish. I like personally going up with my spay rod to the longer runs as I get down river and I put on a sink tip and some string leeches and I like swinging the runs and stepping through the runs and fishing until I get a fish. You can also nymph fish in the deeper holes. That's successful this time of year. But I think it's going to be a fairly good year on the Salmon River this year. We didn't have huge counts coming up to Columbia this year. But my sense of it is, is a lot of the fish that did come up are going up to the Salmon River. So I expect it to be pretty good this year. I also like uh, some other rivers that are close by, maybe a couple more hours drive than the local rivers. One of them is Lower Henry's Fork out of Ashton and St. Anthony. And that's open from Vernon Bridge down, and that's very good fishing this time of year. So that's another option for you in the local area. Another place I like is the South Fork of the Boise. South Fork of the Boise this year hasn't been fishing really good. I don't know what happened to it. There's still some big fish around, but there's not a lot of fish in there right now. I want to talk about the snowpack this year. We, we really started the year off in the fall with a lot of snow up high. We don't have a lot of snow down low this year, and we've gone below 100% right now, but we still have a couple months of our snowpack left. So hopefully we get some more in the month of March and April. I'm expecting to get some more. But the fishing and the skiing is still very good in the next month, month and a half.